Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Miss Haley from Code Speak Labs and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to build a hide and seek game on Scratch. So we're going to show you the importance of using the hide and show block. You ready? Let's go! All right, folks, we're going to jump straight into our coding project of the day. So here is what we're building. We have a hide and seek game and I'm going to click the green flag and we should see animals pop. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> we should see a series of animals popping up in the screen and our objective is to click on them when we see it. Oh, I'm trying to get the elephant. Very nice. And you see, every time we click the animals, we can see our score go up as well. Alright, so let's jump into the project. So, I have a brand new Scratch project open here, and I'm going to get rid of Scratchy the Cat, because we're going to get creative and pick a different sprite. So, for our hide and seek game, it's probably best to have about one or two different um, animals, and then we're going to pick about three or four different obstacles for these animals to hide behind. So to do this, let's go to the bottom right hand corner, click the choose a sprite button, and take the next couple of minutes to choose your sprites. So that's two different animals and about three to four couple of obstacles that these animals can hide behind. All right, and last but not least, make sure to pick your backdrop. So I'm gonna go to the bottom right-hand corner and I am feeling the... the metro backdrop. But feel free to pick whichever one you want. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to place our objects where we want them on the screen. So I'm talking about the obstacles that we picked. So these are the obstacles that will be hiding our animals. And we want to make sure that our obstacles are big enough so that they actually hide the animals. So I'm going to make my scratch bus maybe a little bigger. Let's try 120. Great. All right, so after we do this part, we're going to code our first animal. So I'm going to head over to my chick sprite and we're going to drag a few blocks in. So we're going to go down to events. I'm going to drag a block called one green flag. Click to trigger our program. And we're going to be using the forever loop inside of our control section. So essentially what we want to happen is we want our animals to appear at random places on the screen when the green flag is clicked. And once they do that, we want them to show, show up on the screen, and then eventually hide themselves. So we're going to add a few blocks to do this. The first block we can drag in is called go to random position, and it's inside the motion section. So let's drag that inside of our forever block. The next block we're going to be using is called the hide. So we're going to go into the purple section called looks and grab a block called hide. So what's going to happen is when the green flag is clicked, the chick is going to appear in the random place on the screen and then it's going to hide itself. The next thing we're going to do is drag a block that says pick random. And you'll see where this comes into play. So we're going to go in the operator section. Oops. We're going to do pick random 1 to 10. And we're also going to drag a block that says wait. And we're going to take our random operator and stick it inside of the, the section that says 1. And we're going to change this to 1 to 5 seconds. 
And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make the chick appear. And then we'll also give a little bit of time at the end. So essentially what this block does here is it makes the game kind of harder. So the, you know, the user is not going to know when the chick is going to hide itself and when it's going to show. So the computer is going to pick a random number between 1 to 5 and that's going to be how many seconds it will take until the chick appears the next time. All right, and then the next code block we're going to be making is what happens when we actually click the sprite. So we're going to drag a block that says when this sprite clicked. And there's a couple things you can do here. So we can code this game so that when we click the sprite, we can play a sound. So for example, play sound chirp until done. So another alternative thing we can do for our game is add a high score to our game. So in order to do that, we can use the score variable, and I will link down below a video that we've done in the past where Coach Jen will show you how to add a score feature to your game. So that's another thing we can add to, to our Scratch project. All right, so all of the code you see here, we're going to do the exact same thing for your second animal. So for me, that is the monkey. For you, it might be something different. But let's code this part. Now we're going to be moving on to coding for our obstacles. So these obstacles are going to be what is hiding our animal sprites. So in order to do that, we can actually code this in two blocks. So we're going to drag a block in the event section called when green flag clicked, as always. And we're going to drag a block that says go to front. So we should be able to find this block inside of our look section and it says go to front layer. So what this means is that when the green flag is clicked, all these obstacles here you see are going to be towards the front of the screen. So meaning that no matter where our animal sprites appear, they are always going to be behind it. And we can put these code blocks inside of all of our obstacle sprites. All right, so let's test out our game. I'm gonna click the green, click stop first. I'm gonna click the green flag and let's see if we can try to catch the monkey and the chick. Oh, no. Yeah. Ah. Right on. So this is just a basic foundation for creating a hide and seek game in Scratch. But feel free to go ahead and make this game more difficult. You can add more than three obstacles, you can add so many obstacles and you can change the time between how long a sprite hides itself and then shows itself. And feel free to watch the video inside the link on the YouTube description for how to add a high score feature to your Scratch project. All right, folks, that's all we have for you today. If you enjoyed today's project, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and if you're interested in coding along with us, go to codespeaklabs.com slash register. And last but not least, cue the virtual applause. All right, my name is Coach Haley from Codespeak Labs, logging off. See ya.